Here's this week's challenge question. I'm going to teach you how you can answer this question in under 60 seconds. There are n factorial ways to arrange m objects. So the first step to solving this problem is to determine how many digit arrangements are possible. There are five available spots for the first digit, four for the next, three for the next, two for the next, and one available spot for the last digit. So there are five factorial, or 120 ways, in which five objects can be arranged. The second step is to break up the term adjacent. There are two ways that the two and four can be adjacent. The two can be to the right of the four, or the two can be to the left of the four. The trick here is to realize that two can be to the right of the four in exactly as many times as it can be to the left of the four. In our second step, let's consider the case where two is to the left of the four. This is like calculating the number of arrangements of four objects, one, three, five, and the object two, four. We hold the two, four fixed as everything else varies since the two, four does not rearrange within itself. We treat it as one item and allow it to vary with the other three items. Recall that there are four factorial ways to arrange four objects. So there are 24 ways that this can happen. Notice how the 2-4 moves as one object in the arrangement. The other arrangements are identical to these 24. We just reverse the 2-4 terms and rewrite them as 4-2. This is also the number of ways in which the 2 is to the right of the 4. So in total, there are 24 plus 24, or 48 possible ways in which the 2 and the 4 can be arranged such that they are adjacent. In our third and final step, we simply subtract 48 from the 120 total number of possible arrangements. So the answer to this week's challenge question is 120 minus 48, or 72. There are exactly 72 ways in which the numbers can be arranged such that the 2 and 4 are not adjacent.